With online school and online Zoom meetings, I often find myself being disorganized, and that's why I decided to find a good software to organize my life and schedule all the things that I have in the day. Hey there, Tosan Adema here, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the best scheduling app, Notion. And just for a bit of context, I decided to build this schedule when looking on the internet for things to plan out my day, but they were all printable things like that, um, not so organized. Uh, so I decided to just find a way to just put it on Notion. So let's just get into it. Okay, so we're now in Notion. So taking a look at this first place, this is a habit tracker, which is probably one of the most used organization tools that I use here. Um, so here I have some running, exercises, seven hours of sleep, journaling, spiritual things, and then muscle workouts. So I found that it's very useful during the day to just check these off. It's very rewarding. Um, another thing that I also use is Microsoft Teams, as it's also very, there's a little chime every time you complete a task, and I find that to be quite rewarding. Um, but that's pretty good. Um, we're just moving on, I like to go to my scheduler, my organization scheduler. So I actually got this template from Karma Medic, who's a medical student, and I adapted it to my needs. So as you can see here, it starts off with an inbox, and in the inbox, uh, it has just list of tasks I need to get done, such as week 11 to 12 notes, uh, that's for social studies or history. Um, I have a Udemy course I want to continue. I have 20 Anki cards I want done. Uh, I've done five so far, then I got a new desk, so I wanted to build that. So just organizing things like that here, um, usually because it's like winter break, right? I usually don't have that, That I usually don't have this little task. I usually have tons of tasks to do, uh, generally 10 to 12 in a day. Um, but just because it's a bit low energy these days, this is what it is right now. So I find that just having everything here is quite nice. And now I can put due dates here. Uh, and context is very useful as it's very good with organization because I can list uh, what device I need to do it, what subjects it's in, where I need to do it, and if it's a high energy, low energy, low energy or medium energy task. And I find that actually listing if it's a low energy, medium energy, or high energy task is very useful in the way that you can decide if you want to be listening to music and things like that while completing the task. So moving on, I also have ASAP section where you can actually just check these off um, depending on how soon you need to get them done and then just click done when they're done and they disappear from the list. So moving on to do now, I only have uh, week 11 and 12 notes. Um, so basically this is probably where I come first thing in the morning just to see what I need to get done first thing in the morning, right? Um, so I just put all of that here. I usually do this at the start of the week, right? Compile all of the data into this list that works very nice. And then I also have do soon, nothing in there at the moment uh, because it's winter break, like I said. Then social match, this is my business. Um, this is any tasks I have to do. I'm not gonna put any uh, due dates there for now because for privacy reasons, I have clients and you know, things like that. And then YouTube, this is what I have filming YouTube video, which I'm doing right now. And then I have to edit it. Then I'm gonna brainstorm a few more ideas once we're done this video today. And then another idea that I got was actually from a video by the creator called Medhead, a medical student who is studying in America. So what he actually uses is an agenda. And I found that using an agenda actually very helps a lot with productivity in the way that you can just write down what needs to get done, such as for today I have Anki Advanced Chemistry, I have Math Revision Papers 2X, I have some, um, I need to create some Math Anki cards, Biology Anki cards, and then 30 minutes of Solero. And then I have to schedule some things for my business. So just organizing things that you can just check them off manually like that. Um, I find that just having all of these different things done at the start of the week really helps making sure that week is very productive. Another type of planner that I used to use before was this kind of planner on the screen right now. Um, Basically, it worked well, but um, I find that just listing tasks instead of just giving myself up deadlines like this, it's much better. Um, so I can just organize things mentally. Um, but this one will also work for any beginners. So if you, 
I usually start from 5.45. I don't usually wake up at 5.45 a.m., but like just in case, like if I wake up early that day, you know, I just want to have that real estate. Um, but generally, I used to start around 7.30 with this. So basically, uh, around 7.30, I would just list like, let's say, just breakfast, right? How long is that going to take? Uh, probably 30 minutes because I usually do Anki. And then after that, I would just begin some schoolwork. Then probably continue with that. Just giving yourself more like half an hour blocks, you know, just to create that sort of uh, organization. So thank you for watching this week's video. Please leave a like and subscribe. But if you want to see one of our other videos, click right here. But if you never want to miss out on a video again, you should just subscribe. Signing out.